Hi there, I'm Chris, and today we're going to be making some custom GoPro mounts for this bike right here. But first, I gotta fix the one on my helmet. So for some reason, Val put this uh, coating over the shell, or at least under the visor, to make it look like a matte finish. And uh, the tape that came on the original GoPro mount it's just ripped it right off. Uh, if you're wondering why the visor is looking in a bit rough shape, because somebody's dog ran out in front of me and I wrecked. So please, tie up your dogs. So the first thing we're going to do is take a little bit of sandpaper, and we're just going to scuff that right up. You might not want to do this to your helmet, but honestly, I don't care. Uh, I'd rather my GoPro stay on and the helmet's going to get scratched, it gets beat up. Like I said, the visor's already pretty much ruined, so a little sandpaper, clean that up. And I've already peeled off the old GoPro mount, I've got some 3M dual-sided tape here, so we're just going to fit that on and, and cut it to fit properly. I've heard from a few places that if you take this 3M tape or GoPro mounts, and you heat them up with a lighter, uh, it sticks a lot better. So that's what we're going to do. Now what I've heard is you want to heat it up till it starts to bubble. But I'm not going to go that crazy. You can kind of see it starting to change. I've cut it a bit longer. Because I know I'm going to get greasy fingerprints all over the tape. So I've left a bit of excess. Do piece one. We'll do piece two. I'll get back to you when it's all done. So this doesn't have to be perfect, but I don't want any big overhangs or uh, sharp edges because dirt and stuff is going to get in there and slowly ruin the tape. So there you go. So now I want to be careful because I don't want to get my nasty fingerprints all over this. So I'm going to set it down and we'll heat this side up with a lighter about the same to where it starts to not quite bubbling, but to the point, you can kind of see a difference in it. Now you probably can't see this on the camera, but I've just heated it up till it almost has has a matte finish. The shine is gone, it's kind of starting to, there's a few little bubbles, get it nice and hot. Now I can already see where the old one was mounted, so I just have to do the exact same thing. And you want to press on this for, for quite a while, 30 seconds to a minute. Make sure it's stuck on nice and solid. There you go. It's stuck on. Now, I will be doing test rides and all that, so if this doesn't work, uh, you'll know. Now, the second thing I want to do is make a mount that films my swing arm. Now, I'm going to do it on the drive side because it's just more exciting seeing the chain. But what I'm thinking is I'll use this passenger foot peg here. Because honestly, these are useless. What are you going to do? Carry a passenger through the woods on this? I mean, I'm certainly not. So what I'm thinking is we'll take off the passenger foot pegs. And I have a few pieces of this uh, eighth inch, believe it, believe it's eighth inch thick aluminum. Which conveniently, is the exact size for this uh, GoPro here. So hopefully, I can work something out with that. First thing, we got to get these pegs off. So I've gone ahead and cut uh, first piece. Just I just cut it in half, around six inches. So I have two pieces to work with now. You could try to measure this all out, but I'm just going to eye it up. I'm going to leave a bit of extra space on the back side here. And I'm going to make a little mark. I put it right here. Just outside where I want it to bend. Now, I don't have a vise or anything, 
So we're going to have to get a little creative, but I think I've got a way to put a good 90 degree bend in this. There we go. So I've gone and put a bend in it, but that's definitely not going to work because my leg sits right there. Now I could flip it this way and have a mount straight that way. Or another option I was thinking is taking a straight piece and attaching it to this old chain guard. Which pretty much gives me the same angle, but I'm kind of worried about putting anything close to the chain. So I think we're going to start with this. I'll have to take a little bit off the back here because it's rubbing on this bump stop. But I do that and then I have adjustment this way with the GoPro and then a bit of adjustment this way too. So I'm going to get the grinder back out and uh, go to work. This is what it looks like now. Uh, I hit it with the grinder, a little bit of sandpaper just so I don't cut my fingers. I'm not going to go crazy yet because I don't know if it's going to work, so it's just a rough shape. We're going to drill some holes in here. I'm just going to eye it out again because, I mean, really, it's just a little mount, so it doesn't have to be super precise. we got to have one hole to mount it to the frame and a second hole to attach the GoPro. Uh, this might be a little small, but I think we'll make it work. So this is the old bolt that was on the foot peg, and I've gone out and got this second one that doesn't have the big spacer on it. Uh, that cost me 50 cents, so really not a high budget build here. What we're going to do, so I'm just going to eye this out, quickly check it on the bike. I need the hole to be right here, so what I'm going to do, take my Sharpie, and I'm just going to use the old bolt because it's easier to hold on to. Set it like this. Just trace a rough little circle around it. This doesn't need to be perfect. It just needs to give me an idea of how big the bolt's going to or the hole is going to be when I'm done. Because I'm going to start with a pilot hole, and you don't want to put it too close to the side and then drill your bigger hole and, and have it not work. Now I'm just going to use this piece of two x four so I don't drill through the top of my toolbox. Like I said, this doesn't have to be perfect. I'm actually going to go a little closer to the inside than the edge just to be safe. Now when you're using a bigger drill bit, there's going to be more torque and it's going to be more likely to spin. So you really got to be careful if you're holding this stuff with your hands. Uh, I like to live life on the edge, so I'm just going to go for it. So this isn't really a tutorial, and I'm not here to teach you safety and stuff. Uh, take your safety into your own hands, but as you can see, how easily the stuff will just spin. And If you're using a drill press or something, uh, you could really mess yourself up, so just be careful. As you can see, I could have gone a little bit closer to the edge, but rather be safe than sorry. So, so I've gone ahead and mounted this up to the bike. Now I'm just going to see how the the GoPro fits. Uh, yeah, we got a problem here. Uh, I didn't think about this, so it doesn't quite fit where this tab is. I'm considering just cutting this tab off because honestly these things are kind of useless and I've already worked out you know my luggage system and how I strap stuff to this bike and I really don't use these um, or I could mount it like this try to take a bit more off the inside here and mount it there so I think instead of cutting my bike we're going to cut this mount because I can easily make another one of these, but I might have a hard time making another one of these. Or the third option would be to just try to bend this in a bit. Um, 
which I don't think is a wise idea. So we're going to go ahead and just eye this out again. I'm going to go ahead and mark a little spot here where I think the GoPro should roughly fit and another small line just over here. So I'm going to take this off, hit it with the grinder and I'll show you guys how it worked out. So we might have jumped ahead a bit here. Uh, I didn't realize my camera wasn't recording. But that's okay because we still got to do all the same stuff pretty much. So I've got this fitted up. Uh, like I said, I'm kind of running out of material here. So if I were to do this again, I'd definitely make this side tab longer. Um, not like it needs to be much longer, but it's just nice to have a bit of extra material to work with. I'm not worried about this breaking because the GoPro weighs absolutely nothing. But just makes your life easier. So I've gone ahead and drilled this. Uh, I have to drill it out a bit bigger. If you've got a real nice bike, not that I don't think this is a nice bike, but as you can see, uh, a little bit of aluminum shavings or a scratch on my fender or whatever, you know, I'm not worried about it. So I just drilled it out right on the bike. Because it's just easier to hold on to that way. Um, you don't have to hold on to it, it's bolted to the bike. You might want to take a bit of sandpaper and just get the, uh, the rough edges off. This is what we're looking like right now. So it's pretty good I think. Uh, it's pretty much maxed out. I can't point it any farther down and it's just a little bit below horizontal which I think is good because if I want to adjust it I can come back up this way a bit. So instead of just messing around and filming it for the next hour, I'm just going to get this thing finished up and we're going to go test it out. Alright, so here we are on one of my favorite sections of trail. Nothing too crazy, but you know, some ups, downs, roots. Uh, so that should get the rear suspension moving nicely. I'm not going to go too nuts because I'm just getting over a bit of a, a flu. But I'm going to rig up the GoPros, do a couple laps, and we're going to cut them together and see what you guys think. certainly wasn't perfect but I scared the crap out of myself and 
I'm out here all alone, so we're not gonna push it anymore. <laughs> Let's hope that worked. <laughs> 